I think it's finally time to say goodbye to the historic Mars helicopter, also known as Ingenuity, which became the first aircraft to fly on another planet. It's an understatement to say it exceeded our expectations, because it was originally only designed for five flights on Mars, but it has performed 72 flights over the course of three years. So although it is sad that it has finally come to an end, NASA and Ingenuity's team are more than happy with its successful missions. So what finally caused it to stop working and break? Well, on January 18th, one of the helicopter's rotor blades was damaged during a landing when it briefly disconnected with the Perseverance rover. And now because of this, it can no longer longer fly. For whatever reason, I have noticed that a lot of things that are put up into space always seem to last a lot longer than expected, with the Venus lander lasting 127 minutes only designed to last 30 minutes. Now, the Mars helicopter, which lasted over 3 years with 72 flights, was only designed to last 30 days and approximately 5 minutes flights. I guess it's good to make things a lot stronger than they actually need to be for a prolonged lifetime. So how did this strong little Mars helicopter, or to me it almost looks like a remote control toy here on Earth, manage to travel 140 million miles to Mars? Well, it was not without the help of the Perseverance rover, which landed on Mars on February 18th, 2021, which had the Ingenuity helicopter attached to it. While the rover was exploring the ground, Ingenuity was getting a bird's eye view of the surroundings. But to get this view, it came with many challenges. As the Mars atmosphere is so much thinner than Earth's, its volume less than 1% of Earth's, this means the helicopter's rotator blades had to rotate at an incredible speed of over 2,500 revolutions per minute, just to get off the ground. But on April 19th, 2021, it made its first successful flight, reaching about 10 feet above the surface of Mars and staying there for about 40 seconds, which this might not seem like a long time, but imagine how hard those little blades had to spin because of Mars's extremely thin atmosphere just to keep it above the surface. Now, after completing its first four test flights, it started to help out Perseverance by scouting possible places for the rover to explore, as well as photographing regions that would be tough to access from the ground. And as you can imagine, some of these photos are just breathtaking. So here are a few that the helicopter took. It was able to get a little higher view than the rover could ever get. And one of these images that I find extremely interesting above all the others is this one where it shows Perseverance and Ingenuity's landing gear strewn across the surface of Mars. It almost looks like the remains of an alien ship. Over the following years, it spent more than two hours in the air, hovering over 10 miles, and at its highest flew over 78 feet above the ground. During its final flight, it flew to a height of 40 feet as planned, but only lasted there for 4.5 seconds before falling back to the ground at 3 feet per second, then abruptly losing contact with the Perseverance rover 3 feet from the ground, and then later after it reconnected, images show the damaged rotor blades. And since it had lost connection, no one is exactly sure how this happened, or the orientation of the helicopter when it landed. But regardless, its mission, spanning over three years, was more than successful, making space history and providing an amazing bird's eye view of the Martin surface. If you enjoyed this short episode, make sure to subscribe as we continue to explore the wonders and dangers of the universe.